Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Okoyemi's lifestyle again. Thank you for clicking on this video. As you can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be letting us know about the things they would not tell you about being an international student. I know you have picked this video because maybe you just got an admission into an international school or maybe you you have you are you have already gotten to the country of your where your school is located and you are finding it difficult to cope. So stay tuned with this video and I'm going to be telling you some real gist and some real tea and probably how you can cope about being an international student. So before I get right into the video, I'm going to thank those that are subscribed, those, those that are giving this my videos um, a thumbs up. Thank you very much. And please do want to give this video a thumbs up also. And if you have not subscribed, please do want to subscribe and join the family. Thank you very much. Now I'll be getting right into the video. I'm going to be giving you guys the real gist. First of all, when you get to the country, right, you are going to experience language barrier. And this language barrier is like something like, like maybe like me, I'm an English speaking um, person. And when you get to a place that is speaking probably like another language, and people there are not really conversant with English like that, then you have to like struggle with some words, and then you have to be describing, and you have to be using your hands, and you know, and pictures. And things that helped me was pictures from when I had to Google it and quickly show them oh this is what i'm looking for especially in the market or malls or something like that so before that i have a book here that i'm looking back down so um the, this is the most common challenges that um students make and our students are while studying abroad and it sometimes makes them feel like an outsider or of some sort but the things that can help you in this um, situation is try to learn their language just a little just small just lanes man most of the locals are really really like they appreciate when you are trying to learn their language and then you can even gain get gain um favor from them just because you are just trying to like speak their language or you are trying to communicate with them in their own language and then the plus thing is that when you are going back to wherever you are going to you have another like a like another language that you can speak do you understand like you are returning home with a completely um fluent um language that you are, yeah, that you are good in so um the second will be the cultural differences like nobody's going to prepare you for this when you get there you'll be so shocked like okay what made me shock was that you know this early good morning in my in my own um country when you wake up you see your elderly ones even if they are not the elderly they are going to greet you and be like oh good morning good morning good morning and then in my own um where i am from i'm in Yorubago, so i have to like kneel down to the ground or at least bend down or show that i'm trying to like greet them but yeah even if you see somebody and you don't greet this like it was the shock to me so you have to just observe the way the locals are doing it and then you are going to like immerse yourself in their culture that way because of course i can't be doing mini dance they'll be looking at me like what's wrong with them so you have to just learn the way they are doing it and be like now most of the time i just, I just be like hello because they like hello they like saying hello 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 so instead of me to say good morning and start kneeling down even if you have seen somebody twice a day you don't need to say hello two times just you have seen them once you just say hello like that that's part of the cultural differences among many others so i'm also going to be telling you about the homesickness bro you will just be down for no reason like you might be happy and you just got inside your room maybe you are coming from class or something and you just got inside your room and then the energy just eats you and you're like oh i miss home i want to eat this food i want to do that like there is no good but um this can actually make you enter like slight depression but what you are going to do about this is that just that remember that your friends and family are still there and they will surely still be there for you when you come back and apart from that just also remember that you are doing this because you want to be great in life you want like it's also because of your family 
Yes, I'm not going to lie to you because most of your family, especially when they are young or maybe ask them, you might not meet them again. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything because my dad, I left my dad when I, I was um, leaving my country and now he's no more. I've not seen him from the, like since that time I left the airport. I have not seen about any video calls and you know all those kind of things. So there are some people that are not going to might. I'm not saying everybody is going to be like that. But of course, there are some friends like there are some friends now that I knew that already died and there's nothing I can do about it. I just thank God for the memories that we still had and we had together and also the kind of life that we had even after traveling, the type of communication we had and all. So home sickness affects like. 71% of international students so it's uh, like something you can't <sighs> most people deal with it very very well but mostly how I deal with it, deal with it is that if I feel um, homesick depending on the time maybe I'm just going to schedule it like okay if the time that I was feeling homesick at that time it would be like midnight in my country I'm not going to call them or disturb them I just give them a voice note Oh, I miss you. How are you? How is everything? Like that. And if it's the time I can call them, I'm going to give them a call and be like, Oh, how are you? Been a long time. All those kind of things. Make sure you are like having good rapport with your family after going. Even though it seems it's kind of hard, but try to do it so that you don't fall into like slight depression or you don't look rough when you are going out the second day. So I'm going to also talk about academic challenges. Like this book curriculum is very very different from ours. Like every school you go to, like every international school you go to, depending on the country, have their own different workload. They have their own different deadlines and all. When I got here, I found out that you know in my country we have written exams. Here they are not written exams. It's like the option. ABC stuff, kind of stuff. So you have to now learn their ways. Apart from learning their ways, you have to like it's really hard to start um, reading. You know, there's a type of reading related to when you want to pull out all what you read in a book in a written form. And there's a kind of reading in like an a, in a ABC, like a optional like ABC. I don't know what they call objective. Yeah, in a in an objective way of answering questions so there's a different type of reading to those things so you have to like kind of prepare yourself and concerning the academic aspect this is the reason why you have to at least learn some of their languages because the language can also be a barrier yes it can be a barrier because there are some instructors that they forget and i'm not going to say it's their fault like that but it's still their fault because they know they have international students especially if an international student is in your class you shouldn't be speaking um, other languages, but they can't help it. It's something that even I feel like even if I'm a teacher, there are some things I would like to express in my own language, so which I get it. So everything, the work still fall on you, still trying to learn their language, and there are some important, you know, most of those things that they are even saying in their languages are the important things mostly. But you can't get it anymore. You can easily ask your classmates. How I deal with, deal with this is, especially when it's like a group chat stuff. I ask my friend, be like, what are you talking about in the group chat? And then she explains to me. I just happen to have a friend that actually understands English, and she try her best to explain to me in the way I can understand. So um, I hope the academic aspect will be there your efficacy in class and once in that like your grades you know you need to get that grade to move to the next semester and actually graduate so the next one i'm going to be adding is um not wanting to leave you know i'm in my fourth year now and to be honest uh this is something somebody will, people most people won't tell you but i'm trying to like I'm feeling it now. I'm trying to feel it now that oh, I'm going to do this. You know, when I first came, I don't know anybody here. Now I'm a first year. I know people here, and they are becoming my family, kind of my friend and my family. And you, you don't know the kind of oh, you already built here already. Yes, like 
this is already your home so after overcoming all those challenges now now this is your home and then you are thinking oh so after now i'm going to leave so you are going to miss so many things you are going to miss their culture you are going to miss their food maybe their way of life their lifestyle you'll be like oh if i'm I wish I didn't all those kind of thing, but just know that um, all these things are just part of life of an international student that you are. Most people actually skip some step because I've listed five now, which is language, culture, homesickness, academics, and then not wanting to leave. Most people skip some, but not all. At least you are going to explain. If not four, at least five of these um, challenges. So, in conclusion, I'm going to let you know that um, with all I have said, there are so many benefits. You know, there are so many benefits. The benefits still outweigh the negative um, impact. Because the benefit is that you are studying for the future, you are doing it for your children and also the families you already have. So, and you are doing it for your siblings, and you are doing it for whatever reason you actually are doing it for you are doing it for that reason and because of that you have to sacrifice you know nothing comes easy in this life you have to sacrifice leaving your house you have to sacrifice learning other book culture you have to sacrifice so many things and the key to all these things actually is just being patient because i noticed that when you are actually patient like as a patient in learning their language patient in looking at the way they interact that is cultural wise patients in like your own sickness you know some people who feel own sickness and the first day they're like i can't do this anymore or you don't know there are people like that actually they be like i can't do this anymore i have to go back to my country and then they go back to their country and i'm not saying that is bad but because everybody has their own tolerance level but all i'm just saying is that it is what it is you are a national student now and you have to know that um it is not easy and it is a very very great honor being an international student because there are so many people that actually wish to be an international student and then um, you are here so you just have to like make the best of it and make sure you have, make friends learn your culture especially their culture because when you live here when you live wherever you are that's what you are going to be like oh i know this language now oh i know this culture now oh. In this place, in Canada, this is how we do it. In Philippines, this is how we do it. Those, all those kind of things. You are going to have so many stories to tell your children and your husband and your family. Like when you are going back, you are going to be going back with this for those of us that like this. All those kind of things. So, I, this is the end of the video, and I hope you have learned 18 or two from this video. I'm sorry for my maybe mispronunciation or maybe I'm talking too fast. Don't mind me. I talk like that sometimes. So. Thank you for watching to this point and I would like to or request you to please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you are not. Um, I'm sorry for those that have been watching my video, I'm sorry for not posting all the time because I have started classes again so the video will be coming like once once now because my schedule is very very tight and now I'm filming this thing in the night. Yeah, on a Sunday in the night. So please bear with me. Thank you very much for listening to this. Have a great day. See you. Bye.